the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season is over. It was destructive, deadly, and one of the most unpredictable. So what made it this way and what could we see in 2025? Good riddance. CBS News Miami's chief meteorologist and hurricane specialist Ivan Cabrera has a look for us. For hurricane season 2024, NOAA forecasted the highest number of storms ever in a preseason outlook. And here at Next Weather, we saw the same signs for an extremely active season. We expected favorable conditions like low wind shear, a La Nina pattern, and most importantly, climate change induced record ocean heat. That would be the key. That is what makes intense hurricanes. First, there was barrel. A history making category five storm with 165 mile an hour winds. Barrel is the earliest category five storm to ever form in the Atlantic. It made landfall in the Grenadine Islands before bringing flooding and damage to Texas. Yeah, it seemed like this was a lot worse than some of the other ones that they said were worse. It would be the first of five major storms and Florida was hit hard. Late September and early October brought major hurricanes here. First, Helene hit the Big Bend as a Category 4 storm. It's hard to not cry, but uh, you know, what good is it going to do? You can either move or you embrace it. Um, and what this does do is it builds our community. But as bad as Helene was in Florida, the Carolinas fared much worse. Helene became the deadliest storm in North Carolina history. Nearly 100 people died. Roads in the western part of the state were washed out. Entire communities were stranded. The road was impassable from trees and washouts. We had people who are here in Asheville who have lost everything, and they're coming to help other people. Some parts may never be safe enough to rebuild. No, they said this is probably going to be all condemned by the county. Just two weeks later, Hurricane Milton, a Category 3, made landfall near Siesta Key. I have my house. I don't think that everything's gonna come back. I really don't. There's too many old people in here that don't have money and don't have insurance. The storm killed two dozen people and ripped the roof right off the Tampa Bay Rays Stadium, a facility being used to house first responders during the storm. It also brought deadly tornadoes to the Treasure Coast. Now, I've never, a Florida resident for 30 years, so I'm used to hurricanes but not tornadoes. And we actually, that was the third tornado within an hour and a half. In all, 15 tornadoes touched down in South Florida October 9th. At least two of them were EF3s. In all, the season produced 18 named storms, 11 became hurricanes, and five major hurricanes. And while NOAA's forecast would ultimately pan out with a late season rally, that mysterious lull in the middle of the season, that threw many of us for a loop. And research is already underway to determine exactly what that cause was. But for now, my friends, enjoy the break for the next six months. And remember, the next weather team and I will always get you ready for whatever next season has in store.